Alright, check it out. I got a brand new iPod Touch, and with my HD camcorder, I'm going to make a remake review of my iPod Touch review. Here it is, right here. Damn it, this... This is weird. What is this? This, this is fake. The guy in the trench coat and the dark sunglasses looked reputable. Uh, no, this one was actually donated to me by Kevin. Uh, you can find his YouTube channel right here. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm pointing at, you probably need to turn on annotations on YouTube. But that's his channel right there. It should be right there. So this, look at it. It's got the Apple logo right on it. Really, no shame at all. MSRP three ninety nine. Okay, <laughs> thirty two gigabytes. No, that is actually a lie. Uh, not only is it not thirty two gigabytes, it's actually only two gigabytes of memory in it. And not only that, when I hooked it up to my computer, uh, it try it had an auto run file on it and it tried to put a virus on my computer. Swear to God, no lie. Naughty, naughty. Well, let's go ahead and take it out of the box. Yes, it's already been opened. Blah, blah, blah. We'll come back to that. And the manual, we'll come back to that too. What else do you get with it? Um, Just a USB to AC adapter and a USB cable. Mini USB, actually. It did come with headphones, but Kevin didn't include them for whatever reason. I forget. I don't care. It's not like I'm going to use them anyway. Well, Let's see what the manual has to offer. Get this out of there, too. Uh, can we find any good English scripts? Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, our uh, usual bad, grainy, black and white footage uh, screenshots there. Ooh, additional accessories. I can get a car charger for it. <laughs> Joy, I can have this thing in the car now. Uh, well, I can get a pouch for it, too. What's with these accessories? It's not like this is anything you want to accessorize anyway. Um... Music files should show the name of the album inside the music mode. There's some folder on the album. Eh, it's not that bad. I've seen worse manuals. But enough about the manuals. Let's get to the device. Um, it doesn't feel that cheap. It's it's metal, definitely. Um, it's even got the Apple logo on the back, too. It looks like the top of it's missing or something. I don't know. Kevin did not mention that. It's got a 2 megapixel camera on it that also takes video. Something the original does not have, at least. And the dead mini SD card format, it's got a slot for that too. Nobody uses that anymore. Headphones, mini USB, and it's a resistive touchscreen, which means it has a stylus, a very cruddy stylus. You can see it's, it's come on, focus. Uh, you can see how it's rough and there's no tip. I don't know if, it, if that's Kevin or what. Anyway, to turn it on, you flick the switch and you hold down the home button here. It's got a built-in speaker right there. Speaker's not too bad. So the build quality of the device isn't the worst I've seen. Uh, oh, it was already on, and I just flicked it off. Oh yeah, yay. Alright, so you hold it down, eventually it'll come on. Eventually it'll come on. Eventually it'll come on. Eventually what is this? Come on, go on. I just charged the battery. There we go. Dude, what is this? Ay, ay, ay. So, touchscreen. The manual actually claims it's a multi touch touchscreen. That is funny because it is not. It's a very unresponsive touchscreen. You really got to force it. In fact, it, you know what's funny? If you press down here, it triggers touchscreen presses like way up here sometimes. Uh, of course, I can't do that on video. Yeah, sure. Make me look like a liar. Oh, there it goes. Yep, that triggered the music folder. Okay. E it just got an ebook read. I'm not even gonna bother. Record. Yeah, it's got a voice recorder. It's got a microphone in the back there. Radio. I'm not gonna do the radio for two reasons. One, copyright issues. Two, you need headphones for a proper antenna. Games. We'll come back to the games. Capture. Let's look at capture. It's icon stolen straight from the iPhone OS. Yeah, your usual settings. You could change the resolution up to two megapixels. You can also do fancy things like black and white and sepia, and you can record video. I don't know what the resolution of the video is, because I don't care. Music, it's got some songs built into it. Uh, it's I've never figured out how to navigate this, like if you were to have a whole bunch of songs on here. Uh, you tap it, every time you tap it, it goes to a different letter, but sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I could have prepared for this video and, you know, filled it up with a whole bunch of songs from all different letters of the alphabet. I don't want this thing plugged into my computer, though. Try to put a virus on it. 
So it's got some random music, not even going to bother, it's not even in English. Stolen from the iPhone OS again are the icons on the bottom, if it'll focus. Don't worry guys, I'll figure out how to get a macro mode on my new camcorder eventually. I gotta look at the manual again. Video. Uh, there's some movie trailer on here, I have no idea what it is. No, it's, I'm sorry, it's not a movie trailer, it's some music video. I've never heard the song before, but it is in English. Picture. You can look at your pictures either that you've put on here or that you've taken with the camera. There's four in here already, all appearing to be from Kevin, it looks like. Yeah, looks like some shot of his desk, maybe. Go. God, if a double click doesn't work, I swear to God, sometimes you have to quadruple click this screen. Yes, yeah, looks like he took a picture of his desk. Very grainy. Not as blue as it looks on the camera. That's because I have the white balance set to a fixed setting right now. Let's look at the games. There's no app store, so the two that it comes with, you're stuck with them. You got Mole Hunt. Uh, you just touch the screen to uh, kill moles. And the Orchard game, straight from Monsters, Inc. there. <laughs> That's just your typical game of bubbles or bejeweled, you know, the usual. Let's look at Mole Hunt, because it's actually sort of interesting. Oop, I have the speaker on the iPod knockoff turned off, so there's no music. That's probably for the better. Uh, look at that, they spelled music wrong. Yeah, they spelled music wrong. Trust me, you guys don't want to hear the sound coming out of this anyway. Yeah, so you just touch moles to kill them. Uh, Pre-rendered graphics look kind of nice. Uh, don't touch the ones in armor, you lose a heart. Yep. Hard to be entertained for hours with those two games. Let's get out of there. And you can actually... I, I didn't figure this out until a while later. You go like that. No, that's not it. Well, while we're in the settings, we might as well talk about it. I didn't mean to go in here. It's even got a, it's got a TV out mode. I don't know... the. I didn't see anything in the manual mention TV out, so I have no idea how to do that. Speaker on. Go back. Go back. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Oh, jeez, I'm good. Ugh. Right when I go to grab the stylus, it goes. <laughs> Alright, go over. Yeah, so you actually have got three more applications. You've got a calendar. Yeah, it's a calendar. I didn't bother to set the proper date. Not like I'm going to use it. You got notebook. Again, all these icons stolen from the iPhone OS. Yeah, notebook. You can uh, write yourself notes. Look at the really bad refresh rate of that touchscreen. See how little the touchscreen updates? Ugh. It's so unresponsive. Look, if I go any f if I go too fast, it can't keep up with me and it just stops following me. Oh jeez. All right. Clear that. Get out and never open it again. No, I don't want to save that. And painter. It's actually got a paint program on here, but it's really no different from the notepad. It's it's notepad with the option to pick different colors. That's really bad. There's no fancy fill tools or anything like that. Any cut and paste. Nope. It's it's really just the notepad with different colors. And it's like impossible to pick a color because the touchscreen is so unresponsive. Even though I've calibrated it twice. No, I want blue, not purple. I wanted blue. 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 Fine, we'll do purple. There, doesn't that look beautiful? with the color I didn't want. Oh, this touchscreen is amazingly unresponsive. You really gotta feel this in person. No, I don't want to save that. I mean, getting this to do anything is really a chore. Yeah, that's a that's about it, really. Uh, oh, one more thing. If I hold down the home button, look at that. A slide to power off screen. Just like a real iPod Touch. <laughs> If this thing could talk, it'd be like, Oh, I want to be a real iPod Touch when I grow up. No. Get back on there, because I do want to turn you off. So that's it. It turns off. It's not completely off, though, until you flick the switch to off anyway. So it doesn't really matter. <sighs> I don't know what else to say about these things. I mean, it's amazing that they can get away with this for as long as they do. I mean... I figured the people who make these get caught eventually. Um, yeah, I doubt this thing actually had FCC clearing. But Mini SD, really? Come on, nobody uses Mini SD anymore. I can never get over that. When I see these things with Mini SD card slots, I go nuts. 
Oh well. Well, Kevin, thanks again for the donation. And, um, yeah. Witty retort to finish off the video not found. Thanks for watching, though. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for being fans, you guys.